Um, Mola, how do you respond to distrust among the international community despite your recent assurances of the changing face of the Taliban? Uh, the Taliban leaders have like their own policy and maybe it's better than the previous the 20 years ago ones but how would you put discipline on your fighters on the street what kind of sharia law that you would uphold in the afghanistan how are women's rights going to be within the framework of the sharia law will they have as much freedom as they had during the previous government what about the minorities group like the tribe maybe or other faith or religion, how would the Taliban also like proceed with that course? Okay. Um, Mola, how do you respond to distrust among the international community despite your recent assurances of the changing face of the Taliban? So we are, uh, uh, we have issued uh, statements and uh, of uh, uh, giving uh, general amnesty to all those Afghans who are working with uh, foreigners. And, uh, and also we have a consultation uh, with them, with the Afghan personalities who are working with, uh, who were higher ranking official of the former Kabul administration. We have a deliberation with them about uh, future Afghan Islamic uh, government. So these are our steps that we are showing the international community. Look, in words, we have issued the statement. Um, practically, we have a uh, uh, deliberation and we have, uh, we have uh, uh, announced that all those uh, officials who were working in the government offices, they can resume their jobs. And already they have resumed the teacher, female teacher, they have resumed uh, their jobs. The girls' schools, they have uh, started going to schools. So we do not have uh, any kind of privilege on anyone. Uh, so the, the international community, all other countries should believe because we are showing them in, uh, not uh, in words, but in action. Uh, as you've mentioned, you also want. Uh, I've heard about your press conference that you wanted to um, respect women's rights, but many women are still very concerned about how their future would be or would look like under the rule of Taliban, where 20 years ago they were prohibited from working and participating in public activities under the Taliban rule, including to hold public office. Um, but in a more detailed explanation, how are women's rights going to be within the framework of the Sharia law? Will they have as much freedom as they had during the previous government? Uh, on the basis of Sharia law, women have right uh, to have access to education, to work, uh, and they, they uh, can have their all their basic rights, but only they maintain hijab. So hijab is uh, something all women uh, observe uh, voluntarily. I have been to your country, and mashallah, I have seen the <coughs> majority of the women uh, observing hijab in Indonesia voluntarily, without anyone imposing on them. So in other countries, even in, in my country, Afghanistan, during the period of uh, former Kabul administration, uh, women were uh, observing a job. So that is what we want uh, from uh, our, uh, the women of Afghanistan uh, to observe a job as per the rules of Islam. Uh, it's not uh, about uh, restricting their rights or denying their rights. Uh, so they, they will have their all basic rights. Uh, I've seen in the media reports that the recent update, um, girls, said that they had to stay in the house. Is that true or? No, 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 no that, that's not true. Not true. Uh, May, uh, they, they can still go outside? Yeah, yes, they can still go outside and they can, they have resumed going to school. Okay, okay. Um, 
Mola, uh, last few questions. There are reports in some provinces the Taliban army has been going door to door searching for former members of the government, journalists, and member of judiciaries. How do you respond to these accusations? And um, how do you put discipline within your own army? Because maybe uh, the Taliban leaders have like their own policy and maybe it's better than the previous, the 20 years ago ones, but how would you put discipline on your fighters on the street? So uh, first, there are uh, many spoilers who are opposing as the Taliban may have uh, resorted to uh, to some misbehave, uh, but uh, from uh, the opponents, uh, they are uh, appointed by the opponents. But uh, as for our, our foot soldier concerned, they are not doing this. They are abiding by the policy. But even though, if so someone is found in thousands. Uh, he is uh, detained, tried, and punished uh, in the court. So our policy is clear. And also, if anyone violating, that is also clear. He will fa face punishment. But at the same time, we are facing a lot of propaganda. And our opponents and spoilers, they are also taking um, some uh, action against us to malign us, to give us a bad name. Uh, many uh, there are uh, uh, our opponents members, they are uh, masquerading as Taliban and doing something uh, which is uh, not ours. Because uh, I've read also yesterday that the UN Human Rights Council said they have received a grave uh, human rights report uh, abuse of human rights that is done by the Taliban fighters. What's your opinion on this? That's why I was asking you, like, how would you discipline on the on the army? No, uh, yes, I I, I report this uh, re report. Uh, it's not uh, true uh, because uh, the UN reports uh, they are sitting uh, in their offices uh, very far in other countries, twenty thousand or ten thousand away from Afghanistan. And then they say this happened in Afghanistan. And uh, in those areas which they are uh, reporting that uh, this a particular uh, incident happened, they are not there. They are not physically there, but only uh, they are uh, filling up, they are filing their reports under the basis of the claims of our opponents. So that was why we are rejecting those reports. Um, last question, Mullah. Um, what kind of Sharia law that you would uphold in the Afghanistan uh, when when you have really established your government later on? Is it like as strict as the previous one 20 years ago, or will it be more moderate and more fluid, like uh, maybe Arab Saudi, Saudi Arabia, I mean, sorry. And if you're speaking about the Sharia law, because it's sometimes too sensitive. It's always, um, there are so many pros and cons about it in the Muslim countries, in a Muslim community. How, how is it going to be different? What kind of Sharia law that you would uphold? Uh, first of all, Sharia law is uh, well known. It is uh, not in our hands. It is uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is uh, very clear, well known. Uh, secondly, about uh, the uh, rights of the people, as I said, uh, their rights, uh, whether of male and female, to education, we are committed to that. We are committed to creating uh, job opportunities for our people, to uh, providing the comfortable life for our people, to making Afghanistan a developed country, uh, and uh, also making Afghanistan to have uh, a competition and be able in every field with uh, other countries. So uh, that is uh, our aim. For that, uh, we will be working in, in, in future. So I think uh, the people already, when in the past uh, 20 years, we were holding about 70% of the territory of Afghanistan. The people were very happy with us. We were implementing Sharia law. Those people who were 
uh, living in cities, even the government uh, officials of the former, former Kabul administration, they were taking the, their cases to our courts in the rural areas because they say, there the decision is very swift. And second, there is uh, the without corruption, corruption free. So they were very happy with our judiciary. So we will, uh, so it is already experienced and uh, the people were very happy and I hope uh, they will be happy in future. Maybe I would like to ask also, I was just reminded, um, what about the minorities group, like the tribe maybe, or other faith or religion, how would the Taliban also like proceed with that groups? Oh, we, we do not have uh, any discrimination against minorities. They are Afghans, they have the same right as other Afghans in the sight of law, and they can serve their country, they can participate in the reconstruction of Afghanistan, no discrimination against them. And at the same time, they can perform their religious rituals.